Hello my people, good morning, welcome back to our very channel, good afternoon, good evening. Yes, today is Monday. I want you to get this quick one. This is an information. And you must stay glued to informations. That's what makes you higher and faster. Alright? Woto Woto. The plans of our Biafra Liberation Army. They're not backing down. If you, in your corner, you're afraid. If you're afraid, <laughs> These men are ready. And if they are ready, then Biafra has come. Because they are the ones that will fight this battle. Let me not call it war. It's a battle. Because we cannot run away from our lands. Our people have not even gone out to fight them. But they are coming to our land. So are we going to run into, into grave? No. We will give them back to back. Please share. Share very fast. Thank you. And lock their doors from 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, 27 August 2023. The defense operation of the Biafra Liberation Army is expected to last for a few hours, depending on firepower of the Nigeria Terrorist Army. The Biafra Liberation Army has been deployed for a major combat ready to seal part of Eche and entire Ngo Okwala, all the way to Imo. All civilians in the affected area must remain indoors from 3 a.m. on 27th August 2023 until we announce that the road is open for the public movement. Enemies are at the gate and must be flushed out. If you live around this yellow circle, don't come out until 8 a.m. or thereabouts. Wait for the signal, wait for the message from the Prime Minister until when the Biafran Liberation Army have cleansed off that route and then a public announcement will be made and then you will understand that it is a safe zone, that it is a green zone. So please take note and pass this message to all Biafrans who are in these provinces. We salute the office of our Prime Minister who is making sure Biafra is heard and reckoned everywhere. So, that is a security warning and a security alert. So please, in the um, same manner, when you are anywhere in Biafra land and then you hear any gunshots from anywhere, from anywhere, when I mean anywhere, I mean from anywhere, you hear gunshots from anywhere. Please and please, what you do is do not start running. Hmm? The best way for you to take cover when you're hearing gunshots is you go down on the ground. You lie down and then you start crawling. You start advancing as you lie down on the ground. You start crawling. You start crawling till when you get to a safe zone. Do not make the mistake of start running when you hear gunshots because as you are running, the gun bullet that is flying may pick you because it is flying in the air. It is not flying on the ground. But when you lay down on the ground, before you now start crawling and then advancing down to your safe zone, you will be able to stay away from or not be picked by that bullet that is flying in the air. This is a security tactic that you need to apply when you hear any gunshot in Biafra land. Even if you happen to partake in a protest, which we have sanctioned that there is no protest in Biafra land as far as Biafra is concerned, if you happen to find yourself in any engagement that there is a gun shot, take these safety precautions, please, because it will save your life. All right. Today is Eastern Security Network and Biafran Liberation Army, Biafran Republic Government in Exile fundraising. And we are calling on all Biafrans and all lovers of freedom to please and please make it up today. We need money. We need funds more than any other thing. If there is anything that can help Russia to become who they are today, it is the amount of money that they have. It is how they have been able to utilize the money, to harness the money to become something worthful. It is how they have been able to take care of the resources that God has given to them. It is how they have been able to utilize what God has given to them to become something that can be beneficial to all humanity that inhabit in Russia. Now, when you now look at the contrast part of it, you now check Ukraine. Ukraine, Ukraine. Even as they call a sovereign state or a sovereign nation, whichever way, or a sovereign country, Ukraine is jumping and junketing from America to NATO, from NATO to UK, from UK to Europe, just to look for what? To look for money. To look for money to fund their weapons. To look for money to fund their watches. To look for money to be able to fight the war which is on ground. Now, what are we saying here? When you have money, you can buy and acquire any weapons that you want, and you can crush your enemy at any given time. And your enemies will be falling as you click one button. 
Now, for Biafran Liberation Army to engage the terrorists in Biafra land, with the security warning that just came up today against tomorrow, which is invariably going to start over the night because we understand how the security system works. When we give you this warning like this, this is likely to start over the night and the Biafran Liberation Army, they know how to engage them. Now, for us to be able to have every combat to be successful, we need to have guns and bullets in abundance. Now, if we don't have guns and bullets in abundance, there is no how we can decimate, there is no how we can destroy, there is no how we can overcome the enemies and the terrorists that invade Biafra land. So what am I saying? We need every dime, we need every offering that you have, we need every tithe that you have. The book of Luke, which I forget the very chapter and the very verse, says, he that has a garment, let him sell that garment and buy what? A weapon. So I am now putting it to you. If you have private jet, sell your private jet. Use the money to fund ESN, fund Biafra Liberation Army. Let us buy weapons. If you have a mod car, it is useless because it will only save only you. It will not save the entirety of Biafrans. Sell that your Amod car. Put the money in the ESN and Biafra Liberation Army fundraiser. If you have plenty of houses and companies, where are the proceeds of those companies? Bring the money, come and pay the tithe to the Biafra Liberation Army, Eastern Security Network, and everything that we are doing to be able to secure Biafra land. When Martin Namdekano said Biafra land must be peaceful, Biafra land can only be peaceful and secured when we are able to where there is presence of destruction of lives and properties. So what are we saying? We are calling on all Biafrans and all lovers of freedom to come to the understanding that the freedom of the Biafran people is the freedom of everyone in the entirety of one Nigeria. The freedom of Biafra is the leading role to the freedom of the Africans. You see all this coup that is picking up now in Africa. It is Martin Namdekano that opened their eyes. It is Biafra that opened their eyes. It is the kidnap of Martin Namdekano that opened their eyes. It is the implementations and the steadfastness of Martin Simon Eber and his team and cabinet that have opened the eyes of every international community and every African country who are rising up to the understanding of freedom. If Martin Namdekano was kidnapped, and then we all went to lick the wounds of the Fulani terrorists, the politicians, and the errand boys that we have in Biafra land, like the DOS did, and all the governors of the East did, then we abandoned Martin Namdekano. We now went and started singing OB, 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 79, OB, 75, OB, 74. If all of us had abandoned Martin Namdekano in detention, we left Martin Simon Ekba, and then we went to go and start singing Labour Party, obedient. There would have been no awareness that would have been created for African leaders and the coup leaders to wake up to understand that there is a turning point. And that is a confluence point which they need to connect. That they have to start working on the circumference to be able to determine the radius of what is actually going on. So you need to understand something. That the steadfastness of Mazi Simon Epa and his entire team has been able to open the eyes of all the African coup leaders that you now see and what they are doing. So when Martin Amikano tells you that Biafra will be the lead, Biafra will take the lead, Biafra will open the eyes of every man that it is a beacon of hope. It is through that beacon now that every eyes have been opened. It is through the exposition and the exposures that Martin Namdekano had done against One Nigeria that you now see that everyone are rising up to the fore and they are coming to the understanding of the reality. That is why you see that as it is now, everyone are rising up against the imperialists. They are rising up against the colonialists. They are rising up against their slave masters. They are rising up against the people that dissected them on the table in 1884 to 1885 in Berlin Conference, where Africans and their inhabitants and their resources were kept on the table, and then they were dissected into sections, like you are using knife to chop onions into pieces, which you want to use to fry akara. You want to use the onions to put in your okra soup. You want to use the onions to cook edikaniko. So this is what was done in 1884 to 1805, uh, 1885, when you had up the Berlin Conference. The Berlin Conference is where the Europeans, the Asians, the Americans, the British, they all sat down to do what? To dissect Africa into segments where it will benefit them. This one took this side. You saw where the Portuguese take. You saw where the Spanish take. You saw where the Americans take. You saw where the, uh, Frank, the French take. You see where the Belgians take. You see where the uh, 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 British take. So when you see them speak English, you know this is the side that was uh, uh, segmented to this side. Where you see them speak French, you know this is the side that was segmented to fr France. You, where you see them speak uh, uh, Spanish, you know this is the side that was segmented to, to, to the Spanish. Where you see them speak uh, Portuguese, you know this side was segmented to the Portuguese. Where they speak Belgium, you know, when they speak Dutch, you know that this side was also segmented to the Belgians. 
So this is what Africans have gone through for centuries. This is what Africans have gone through for many, many years. But the time has come where Africans have to be free. So we are calling on all Biafrans and all of us of freedom for them to please and please remember that your freedom is in your own hands. The colonialists will not give you any freedom. It is you that will have to fight for your freedom to get it. So in any country that you find yourself, support the coup leaders. Support the freedom fighters that are fighting and standing up to make sure one Nigeria is destroyed. To make sure that very country as well is also destroyed. Because if that country is not destroyed, I tell you, the inhabitants of those countries will never be free. You can never be comfortable in the hands of your slave masters and then you expect to be a free man. No, you can never. The day you start frowning your face, the day you pick up arms, the day you confront your colonialist, the day you confront your slave master and ask him, what is the price for my freedom? I want to be free. From that very day, your slave master will understand that you have come to understand the truth and nothing but the truth. And that they have been deceiving you for years. And from that very day that you ask them that question, they know that they cannot stop you because you have come to the time of never going back. You have been the slave for many years. But the day you confront that with your slave master, from that day going on, you see that everything will change. So what are we saying here? We don't expect to be romancing or enjoying with the enemies of Biafra. So we must deal with the enemies of Biafra in every way possible. And we are not missing words. So we thank you to all our donors who have been making sure that Eastern Security Network Biafra Liberation Army have a lot of funds, bullets and guns to defend Biafra land. And we are calling on you to please do not forget to continue because it is a just cause. And we must and must and must continue because it is the only thing that will give us freedom. It's the only thing that will stop us from continuing to beg from America, from UK, from Europe. When we go to apply for visa, we beg for the visa. And yet, we have to still pay for the visa. And yet, all these people take our resources. They put pipeline, pip, pip, uh, pipeline from Biafra land to America and to UK and to Europe. And they take our oil out free of charge. Free of charge. We only get pennies back. But yet, we have to pay for visa to go to these same countries. Can you see the inhumane treatment that they have meted on you for years and centuries? They don't even have the human empathy, talk less of sympathy, to reconsider and understand that if you colonize these people, that at least you should give them a leverage of having a free visa coming down to What is the point of you colonizing them? That means colonization is all about slavery. You colonize them, you enslave them for years and years and years and years, and they will continue to remain as your slaves for years. They will never get free because all you want to keep them is in jeopardy. You want them to remain as your puppet. You want them to remain as your children. You want them to be licking your wounds. You want them to always be begging for their way out. You put them in a vulnerable situation, just like one Nigeria will put all the students in a vulnerable state. Then the student will now be prone into going into bad, bad businesses or toggery or anything that the politicians will now contact them at any given time. And then they will have no choice because you've been to school, spend years in university, spend years in a college of education, spend years in a... Um, 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 polytechnics, and then spend years in some academies. When you come out, your certificate cannot speak. You cannot get a job. And then you now become useless and vulnerable to the system. What now happens is that they are ready to use you to carry out their political toggery at any given time. So when you have not eaten for like a week, and when you have not seen 10,000 in months, the day a politician will now walk up to you with such an amount of money just for you to go and do a dirty job, you will jump at it because they have created a system that they put you in a vulnerable state. So you now become versatile. You now become versatile to anything that comes. This is why we must end it. Because if we don't end it, it will continue. And this is the reason why Martin Amican is behind bars. Because he spoke against it. He exposed it. And they say, oh, this prophet that God has given to them has come to finish. No. Now a person where no. The parlor. Now, person will know the kitchen. Now, person will know the alleyway. Now, person will know the route to your wardrobe. Now, you go understand. Now, you go fit lead person come inside your room where they will come find you. Now, you go give the map. Now, you go tell them, say, this is the design. When you enter the house, you turn left, you turn right, you go like this, you go like this. You use this person, you use this person. You ring this bell at this point. You move from point A to point B. You turn to left. You move, you move three steps forward. You move three steps uh, 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 backward. You go to left. You go to right. You click here, you click here. Then it will respond. That is an insider that knows everything and out. That is how Mazen Namdekano was picked out. Mazen Namdekano on the uh, inauguration speech, on the inauguration speech of um, Eastern Security Network in um, 2020 December, he said, I am 
I am announcing today that what what what, what do they call it? He called one name, it's something of Okarafo. He said she is going to be the one to manage all my social media handles. He said my Twitter handle, he said my Facebook, he said Instagram, he said any day that you see any tweets coming out from these handles, you have to take it because it is on my authority. So MNK made this announcement the day that Eastern Security Network was inaugurated. I want you to go and listen to that video, and I will try to make out time to cut out that part and bring it. So what point am I saying? What I am saying is that when MNK was kidnapped in 2021 June, and then from the day that MNK was kidnapped and then it was in the hands of the terrorists in Kenya, tortured for over eight days before it was later brought to Nigeria. Remember that they were still tweeting with MNK's Twitter handle from the day he was kidnapped until the day he appeared in Max in one Nigeria. That was immediately when they stopped tweeting. When they saw that everything has been exposed, that MNK is in chains and is in Max, and then he is in one Nigeria, at that very time, that was when they stopped tweeting. So you guys have questions to ask the social media handler of a uh, secretary of our, uh, of our Onyendu, because he made that public announcement. He said he's the one that is going to control all the social media handles. So whatever he's tweeting is coming out from his order. So this same person knew quite well that MNK was kidnapped and was excommunicated at a certain time, but continued to continue to use the Twitter handle to be telling their friends that MNK says this, MNK says that, MNK is coming for broadcast this time, MNK is coming for this time. After that time reached, MNK did not come. He will now write another one and postpone. And then continue tweeting in cognizant with the way MNK used to tweet on a daily basis. These are the worms that we have had in IPOB for many years. And it is time we expunge all of them. And I think the Agune Chamber, one of Biafra land, who has not been taking it easy to make sure he deal with every sabo in IPOB. You have been their end, and you will continue to be their end. Now, Mazi Simon Ekba did not go to the BRICS. Mazi Simon Ekba is not a member of the BRICS. Um, Biafra Liberation Army is not a member of the BRICS. Biafra is not a member of the BRICS. <laughs> but what happened? Mazi Simon Ekba is not in the BRICS. But he destroyed one Nigeria in the BRICS. So this is a win-win to the Biafran people because we are winning left, right, center. We are winning left, right, center. The Biafran Republic government in exile have a lot and a lot of diplomatic engagement ongoing on, which are not to be kept public until the one that is necessary to be kept public you get to hear from the authority of our PM. But I can assure you <laughs> that a lot are going on. And our fingers need to be crossed while we continue to fight. But there is something exceptional here. Something exceptional here is that when we did say every Biafran media warrior should uh, connote his or her name with Simon Ekba, because it is an uh, awareness and it is a protest, people may not or do not understand us very well. Mazi Simon Ekba has become the eye of the agitation, the face of the agitation, the face of the liberation of Biafra. And if you want to know Mazi Namdikano, click where you see Mazi Simon Ekba's face. Click where you see Mazi Simon Ekba's name. That is where the hyper location will now take you down to Mazi Namdikano. Because he is the only man that is standing in, in place of Mazi Namdikano for now. One Nigeria had before now written to Russia that they should not do what they should not listen to Mazi Simon Ekba, that he is not the IPOB. <laughs> he is not the one fighting for Biafra. And then you ask the question. Has it got, gotten to the point where one Nigeria will now become an advocate for IPOB? Has it gotten to the point where they now become the spokesperson for IPOB? Then we say, oh, this is a win-win. Do you all remember during the election of 2023 that um, Garuba Adamu was on Russia TV calling on the Russian country for them to join hands to bring Mazi Simon Ekba down to Nigeria, same way that they kidnapped Mazi Namdikano? Laya Mohammed was also in America and UK to tell the international community that uh, they are enabling IPOB through the auspices of Mazi Simon Ekba to raise funds, this Eastern Security Network funds and BLA fundraising that we are doing, that they are enabling us, giving us leverage in their countries for us to raise these funds and then use it to sponsor our terrorists. And then they say our terrorist is ESNM, the African Liberation Army. This was the highest awareness of all kinds for you to understand because there are disparities between the Fulani terrorists, the Boko Haram, and the soldiers of the caliphate that the zoo government are using to destroy the lives of people and the freedom fighters who are fighting to the liberation of mankind which are the indigenous people of biafra now under the government of the 
Biafran, Liberation, uh, Biafran Republic government in exile, headed by the indomitable PM, the Agony Chamber One, the ambassador of his Mazi Simon. Egba. All right, my people, well, that's the news we have for you right now. And I know this one is a timely information, timely information from Biafra Liberation Army. You must help your brothers and sisters to share it in platforms. Thank you very, very much. Stay safe. Please stay safe.